one viewers and subscribers thank you guys once again for tuning in to yard and abroad tv please remember if you haven't subscribed please hit the subscribe button right now people it will be greatly appreciated as usual so people if you haven't heard or you are unaware of what is going on elaine thompson won the 200 meter in a time of 21.53 seconds people yes um shelly and fraser price came in fourth unfortunately she failed to medal um but you don't know so we're still proud of shelly and no matter what but Elian thompson what a great run people absolutely phenomenal people and as i said in my previous video what elaine thompson accomplished people only one other athlete track and field star has done such feat by winning the 100 and 200 meter in consecutive olympics people only one other person has done that Tam -tana -na. can you guess who that person is people can you guess who that person is none other than usain bolt people usain bolt is the only other athlete to have accomplished that feat winning back-to-back -back olympic gold medal both in the 100 and 200 meter and now elaine thompson is also the fastest woman alive yes people she didn't break the world record but she is now the fastest woman alive in both the 100 and 200 meter and people as me say now she is coming from far cause if you get injured and i know how things are gonna turn out and for her to come out and basically destroy every goal that she set out to accomplish is a great feeling and in my previous video people if you scroll down a little bit um you know i left the post um race interview and she was talking about the race and thing people um so if you haven't seen that just check out the last video that i did on my page and for people who's asking what is next for elaine thompson um she still has the four by 100 meters really um people so we don't know how that i'll go we don't know how um shelly and she and you know, we don't know who's gonna be running it we don't know who are gonna run the um the heat so we are wait for you, see who's gonna be in that we know say brianna williams who hasn't run in the olympics so far should be running in um one of the heats so we don't know how it's gonna go but don't know people me they have to update you know i'm making a know what uh, go on and also people instagram has blocked elaine thompson from posting on their platform for two days yes you heard that people can you imagine olympic champion you know people and instagram i go block you because of them terms and condition can you believe that for posting the race that's what they did she posted the race on her instagram and she was blocked the person who win the 200 meter was blocked by instagram can you believe that people we understand terms and conditions and policies and whatever you want to call it but jano them block our people for two days so on her twitter page she tweeted i was blocked on instagram for posting the races of the olympic because i did not own the right to do so so see you all in two days crazy no people so what what kind of suing can she do can she sue them for doing that because she in a if i can understand if it's somebody else uh one person in the comment section replied athletes artists creatives have rights to their own image and likeness and that is so true uh you can post your own video i understand you didn't record it but are you in it you see me that's your face in the video people crazy man 
So I'm reading a little article from one of um, Jamaica's um, Instagram pages that posts about the Olympics and thing. And it goes on to say social media giant Instagram has imposed a two day ban on the account of Olympic champion Elaine Thompson following a reported violation of its copyright policy. The disclosure was made by the Olympic 100 and 200 meter gold medalist today via her Twitter account. And you know, I already read what she wrote on Twitter. And it goes on to say, under Instagram's terms of use and community guidelines, you can only post content to Instagram that doesn't violate someone else's intellectual property rights. The terms also note that the best way to help make sure that what you post to Instagram doesn't violate copyright law is to only post content that you have created yourself. Thompson today became the first woman to win back-to-back -back sprint doubles at the Olympic Games when she successfully defended her 200-meter title at the 2020 Olympic Games in Japan, people. Yeah, man, so that's what um, Elaine had to say and that's what the article had to say about Instagram terms and policy and blah blah whatever you want to call it crazy crazy people and also people asafa powell has come to the defense of the jamaican male athletes at the olympics people yes he had posted a video on youtube talking about you know don't bash the man them because they just got you a fears and people we're not here for bash nobody is me people because we not out there doing um what they are doing so we have to be proud of them we know so we we get broke bad uh that's how we like say it in jamaica we have got so accustomed to winning our winning ways that if you see the man them now produce no medal is like a, a war going there so but you don't know as we say him say is a phase them are go through we don't have to bash them we just have to praise them and you know show them our appreciation um as well people and you know for most people the jamaican men them haven't won a medal so far at the olympics we have won um five medals so far and all of them has been on the uh woman side so you don't know we know we're gonna get a medal somewhere in between we don't know where it will come from as yet but we are work on it you see me Big up all of the athletes, them who are, uh, you know, they are Olympics and uh, do them best. You see me? We're still proud of, you know, medal or no medal. Uh, we're rooting for you guys. All right. Bless up in yourself, people. And check out the video of Asafa Powell talking about um, the male athletes at the Olympics, people. Check it out. And guys, please don't pressure the athletes. Don't pressure the male athletes. You know, we're just going through a phase. You know, just a revamp and come back again, you know what I mean? So, don't pressure the athletes, you know, and you know, a lot of, you know, a lot of you Jamaicans are very ungrateful and love bash people and forget very easily, you know what I mean? You guys forget very, very, very quickly. You know, somebody come or uh, something um, when the brain does cancel and reset. You know what I mean? So guys, you guys need to stop being so ungrateful and just be happy. You guys are spoiled. You know, the generation before the spoiling. <laughs> you know, um, you the Nesta Carters, the Michael Freighter, the Asafa Powell, the Usain Bolt, you know, all of these athletes. Spoiling them. And you and Blake, you guys need to remember, you and Blake was second 2012 Olympic Games. You know, forgot that. You are not the second fastest man of history. And you guys, you no, know, of course, the athlete them. What, what, where, where you think, where you think I go when the athlete them leave Olympic and go to them yard? Most of the athlete them go back to a regular nine to five job. No, 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 can put food on the athlete them, on the athlete them um, table. The athlete them going right back at them yard. Majority of them don't have a sponsorship to, um, to live off of. So a lot of them, remember them have family and all of these things. They can't support them family, them they are Olympic uh, run out them soul and people they are Jamaica bash the athlete them and all over the place. Guys, the athlete them don't get paid for the Olympics. 
them are come home, sit down, go do a nine to five job wherever them they most of them in the states, then go back to the states, go back to them regular life, then regular job. Like I say, you can you can pick on one one and how many athletes of the big sponsorship can just live off of them sponsorship and off of them just go into the diamond leagues and you know, stop pressure the athlete them because you think them go out there for lose? Them don't go out there for lose, you know. Them go out there for do them best. This is how they make the money. Jamaica no pay athletes for run. So no stop pressure the athlete them.